Hey guys, sorry for looking like hell in this video, but I literally have been through hell and back, and uh, um, I debated on making this video now or earlier, but really I ended up running out of data play on my phone, so I couldn't really upload anything there. Um, but as you can tell from the title, I had a bowel obstruction. I just came out of a th about a three week stay in the hospital. Uh, they let me go yesterday and the whole ordeal is pretty scary so I'm sorry if I start crying. I'm still a bit in denial about what happened. Um, just the grieving process I guess. I'm sorry I keep looking to the side but I'm just monitoring my cockatoo. As you can tell on the play gym. Just making sure he or she doesn't get into any trouble. Eating some greens over there. Um, well, I got my shake. What are you doing? But I wanted to make a video. Like I told you guys, good, bad, or ugly, I'd be here. Um, let you know what happens along the way. As you can tell, I kind of lost some weight from being in the hospital. At least I can see it. I feel like this fragile thing now. My body fat scale says I lost tw about at least 20 pounds of muscle. They didn't give me vitamins while I was in there. Um, but I'll start from the beginning. On the 27th, was it? Of June? It was a Friday. Let me just double check the date. Yeah, 27th of June I had a bunch of crap planned. I had a doctor appointment. I had a shift I picked up from work. Something else. What are you doing acting all crazy? And then, um, I don't know. I remember I had four things planned versus like nothing for the day. And, uh, I was on break from school at this time. So I thought I'd get it in all, you know, before work. Oh, plus I had like a therapist appointment or something. But anyways, I was getting ready for the doctor appointment and I started to get this horrible, uh, stomach pain. And I thought, oh, this must be some gas or something. Uh, turns out it wasn't gas. And before this happened for a week, I had these weird poop spells. Where some days I didn't poop. Which is really weird for DS, because for me, I know some people poop twice in the morning, I just poop once. Um, sorry if this is TMI, but <laughs> get used to it because it's going to talk about that in this video. I just want to say that if you have any change in your habits to go see your doctor right away so you don't end up in the situation that I did and by go see your doctor I mean make an appointment for as soon as you can with them call them uh, go to their ER if possible where they have where they're at like for me my surgeon was in San Francisco which is not where I live I live about two hours away. I think if I would have gone there in the first place that maybe uh, some time would have been saved and I wouldn't have been so bad off. But like any change in bowel habits, pains that aren't usually there, gas that isn't usually there, you know, don't be embarrassed. <laughs> That's what they're there for. You know, they've probably seen it all or heard it all before. Um because I think maybe I had some signs of this before that Friday that everything kind of hit the fan, so to speak. Like the pooping. I mentioned how there's some days I didn't poop. And I thought, oh, it must just be what I'm eating. Or get off the keyboard. Yeah. Trying to go over there for. You got a whole play jammy. Why are you playing on my computer? No bite. Sorry, man. I don't know why they're not letting me make a video now. Like, they're all fine and sweet, doing their own thing. And the minute I could turn on the camera, it's, oh, we're going to jump on the floor and be all crazy. Eat your keyboard. <laughs> but anyways, um, and they put me on flagell, and that seemed to fix things. It was like, uh, one pill a day for a month. Um, I don't know if maybe that was a sign or something. I don't know. 
Do I just called up my doctor? Ow, ow, you nail, man. Ow. <laughs> um, call up my doctor and you call in a prescription for me. Make my search doctor. My PCP is not too, I don't know. Oh, hang on, I can put this one on the play gym. Woke oh, up uh, that day. So everything seemed fine, and all of a sudden, in the middle of pooping, I got this horrible stomach pain. Like, it felt like gas pain or something. Or just kind of like, like diarrhea cramping almost, but kind of like an intense. What are you doing? Crazy birthday. <laughs> Um, but anyways, and I'm like, oh, this must be gas, you know, kind of brushed it off, like, like it was nothing, and then got my protein coffee and headed to the doctor's and started to feel nauseous. Um, I couldn't, when I got to the doctor's, it, it, the pain just was still there, you know, I took some gas X and that didn't help. And, uh. You might see birds just coming out the video today. <laughs> uh, took some gas axe, which did absolutely nothing. And so I'm like, this is so weird, what's going on? You know, like, oh well, I'm at the doctor anyway. We waited there like an hour. I even had, I was thrown up. Uh, I guess I couldn't keep anything down. Sweating profusely when it was cold out. And, uh... I remember what else because that was like almost three weeks ago and uh, like I remember I had to go outside because I just felt really hot and yucky and like I was gonna be sick like I remember whenever I'm gonna be sick like my mouth just starts watering and I feel sick to my stomach I don't know if anybody else is like that that's just like my signs of you know I'm gonna be sick and I remember throwing up in the bush and then just dry heaving a lot um, like, I didn't even feel like I wanted to drink water. Um, and I couldn't get the shake in, which was really weird because I have, like, several shakes a day, so... That was, like, another sign of something not so normal. And then finally I went inside. Um, and this is out when it was all, almost an hour, and I went to the, into the bathroom there, because then I, like, I get in there when it's, like, you know, ice cold and I'm just sitting there sweating. I'm just like, what is going on? Am I hypoglycemic? You know, what's going on? And, uh, finally, you know, the pain wasn't subsiding and didn't look like I was going to get seen anytime soon. So I said, you know, I think I need you guys to call the ambulance. So I was also really dizzy at that point. To the point of not, like, it, everything just felt like a dream kind of thing. Like, you're just kind of out of it. I don't know if that's dizziness or or what, but and then finally the doctor listened to me. Um, Cause you have to go back there to use the bathroom, and I remember sitting in a chair, like feeling like I'm gonna fall over. Um, like I felt so weak. I didn't know what was going on, and I'm freaking out, thinking, you know, maybe this is a bowel obstruction, but it's probably just gas, you know, or some something. You know, I, I really didn't think it was a bowel obstruction. Um, and then I remember uh, not being able to pass gas. Because I know with a DS bowel obstruction, you can still poop and have gas. And so it's really hard to detect. So I, I was just freaking out, like, oh, maybe it's that. But, you know, at the back of my mind, just really like, no, I can't be that. You know, just kind of like in denial, I guess. And, uh, so the ambulance was called. I remember texting my husband. Like, I couldn't even text. Like, all I wrote was hospital <laughs> or something like that. And so he's like, what? You know, like, because he, he wrote his, you know, have a good day, which we should do. And then it was just like, hospital, like, <laughs> you know, what's he, I don't even know anyone that could understand what I was saying. But I was just, like, out of it. And, uh, they called the ambulance, you know, well, first the doctor listened to me, like, my pulse and stuff, and I just, like, I don't know what's going on, I think this might be a bowel obstruction or something, and I don't remember 
the house or the wise, but he said, you know, call the ambulance to the girl. And I remember these guys showed up to take me there, and I just didn't know what was going on, you know, pretty much. And I guess my phone and purse were left at the doctor's office, so that was great. Uh, and I remember they took me to the hospital. I got right back, which was weird because usually at this hospital you have to wait for, like, ever, even if you take the ambulance to park you out in the middle. But I guess when you come in with pretty bad abdominal pain, they get you right back. And we're telling you, look, I have an appendix. <laughs> you know, like, this is an appendicitis. And I was, I, I was pretty out of it, really. Um, and they ended up doing a CT scan. I can't remember if it was with contrast or without. And they said it showed my, my colon was inflamed. I'm just thinking, great, what does that mean? You know, like, what? I don't understand. Um can't remember what else they did but I remember I was in a room I was there a couple days and I said you know call my I kept telling him you know call my surgeon call my surgeon oh, you know, call my surgeon my bariatric surgeon because one this hospital doesn't know what a DS is like everyone kept telling me um, I had a gastric bypass and they telling him no I had a DS and they're like oh that's the same thing I'm thinking no it's not <laughs> No, it's not, you know, <laughs> like I'm trying to say stuff and I'm just, you know, um, but anyways, and then they were going to transfer me, oh, I remember, I remember that just being like in the fetal position because I was in so much pain, uh, I can't remember where the pain was, probably due to the drugs they put me on, um, I remember the doctor saying that there would be a bariatric doctor to come see me. Uh, and they, they were in contact with my surgeon. I'm not exactly sure. I don't really remember the what. I think they did call my husband or somehow he got told more than just that text that said hospital. Uh, I forget how. And then I said, oh, my car's out there, my phone, purse, and I guess he went and got it. Yeah, I remember him visiting me. That's right. I, I was just out of it really out of it like I don't know if just the feeling like crap part or what um, but anyways the CT scan was pretty much inconclusive I think at that point so they didn't really think I had a bowel obstruction um, so they said I wasn't a priority whatever that means like I asked for a note for work because I was supposed to go to work that day um, and stuff and you know Every time you're you calling sick, you need to you know do something to that fact. You need to bring in a note, so no, you're not just playing hooky in Hawaii or something. You know what I mean? But anyways, I forgot what I was saying. Sorry, I'm still kind of on medication, so if I seem out of it, I'm sorry. Um, so at that point, why are you acting crazy? Sorry, this guy was doing the feathers and looking up and acting all crazy freaking out or something. Not all nice like this one here. Just doing my feathers being cute. Yeah, can't help it. Oh, we'll take a head scratch. Yeah, we'll take a head scratch. But, uh, I just remember, you know, worrying about these guys. Just, you know, I spend time with them, I feed them, and I just remember worrying about them. Hello, are you talking? I'm talking or being crazy? Oh, it looks like we're just being crazy. Let's see if I can show you. No, stop doing it when I turn it properly. What are you doing over there? Hello. Well, we're just doing our feathers now and not being crazy when I turn the camera. Alright, well, I tried. Um, but I remember the doctor saying that a bariatric doctor would be in. I'm thinking, great, you know, nobody does DS up here. Closest they do a DS is San Francisco, so I'm probably going to run into some weird thing about that. Um, and then a day went by, nobody came and saw me, and that doctor was like, oh, that's ridiculous, nobody came and saw you. And I remember asking the nurses, I said, someone said a doctor would come see me, and they said, oh, no, no, no one's going to come see you. Um, you know, just rest, you know, whatever. And I think they had IV at that point, just for fluids. And I, s I kept saying, yeah, I probably need to come in anyway because I've been dehydrated, which 
technically it was true because I remember that week of like the weird poop not getting in enough fluids you know just my own bad planning um, of course maybe that was a sign just a no stomach just a sign of you know that upset stomach and the weird poop I don't know and we're being weird over there again